Hey golf people, on today's episode, we're gonna see what's in your bag. Here's what's in mine. Well, bad angle. Here's what's in mine today, but today I wanna know what's in yours. A bunch of golf people have sent me photos of their setup, so we're gonna take a look today at what's in their bags, and we're gonna have some fun. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pull up my inbox here. We've got a number of submissions that have come in. We're gonna start with a couple friends of the show, people that I know have been supporting the show for a very long time. I'm gonna feature them first here. I'm gonna to try to get through as many as I can in a reasonable amount of time, and if you've sent me your photo and it does not make the show this time, there's a very likely chance that we'll be doing this one again. We might even do it live actually and have some fun. But first off here is going to be the Amateur Golfer UK. Now the Amateur Golfer actually has his own YouTube channel and he sent me a picture, a very nice picture here. I love the head cover of the putter first off, okay? You've got the uh, British theme going, which I love. That goes very well with your channel name. He's got a PXG driver. This is 11 degree with a hazardous smoke 60 degree shaft. I appreciate that he sent me the shaft information, by the way. There is the Slider 3 wood. Now, this is a club I honestly don't know a whole lot about. It looks like a tailor-made club, in fact. And uh, it's just a model I'm not all that familiar with. So, uh, I, from what I could see on the internet here, I guess that came out maybe in the... Uh, maybe five, six years ago. For some reason, it just wasn't on my radar. He's got an older and even listed as old school Titleist 975F. That's a really old, uh, I guess that's a, what, a seven wood. It's set at 20 and a half degrees. How old is that club? You got to let me know, amateur golfer. Uh, I'm guessing that's at least a 15-year-old club, which I can appreciate that. I mean, I played a 15-year-old a three-wood for a long time up until this season. So, hey, when you've got a club that you know you can hit, uh, why why, why uh, mess with success, I always say. All right, he's got four through nine irons are the S55s. Ping S55 irons. This looks like a really well-used bag. Look at those wedges. Those wedges look like they've seen, like they've got a few stories to them. Uh, you've got a little rust there. It looks like a 52 and a 56 degree Callaway wedge is what that looks like to me. He listed that as, yeah, Callaway Tactical MD4 Special Edition S200 Tour Issue. It looks like they've got a lot of love, honestly, and I like that. And then he's got a 60 degree Mac Daddy wedge here. So he's actually playing four wedges in this bag. And uh, how many wedges are you playing? I play three. I've always had either two or three. Three's the most I ever had. And uh, that's he's got four there. And we don't know what that putter cover is. So good bag there, amateur golfer. I love those wedges. Uh, very, very cool. And PXG, obviously a great driver. And then you've got a little bit of mix of the old and the new. We'd love to know what that putter is, so leave me a comment down below. But let's move on to our next bag here. We're going to go with David Zelenko. David, I believe, is in Canada. In fact, David, I owe you a little gift. I've had a little trouble getting through Canadian customs, uh, but uh, you'll be getting that soon. I've got to fill out the form. I just haven't had a chance to fill out the form. So he bought a new Ping G425 this year. Congrats. Awesome, awesome driver, especially if you like uh, control. It's maybe not the longest driver out there, but it's definitely the most consistent and the most forgiving that I, that I found. Um, it's a big investment. He's happy with the performance. That's awesome. Uh, he loves them. Uh, he's, he's have never used a fairway in the past due to having a three and four iron. But this five iron that he has is long and straight. And he says these are the most forgiving irons he's ever had. So he looks like a whole big bag of ping there. Congrats, Dave. Looking really good, my man. Let's see. A Daytona putter. Daytona host black. Again, a putter I don't know. I like that he put his ball in there. So he's playing a tailor-made. I'm going to assume that's maybe like a TP5 or something. I don't know. Let me know if you know for sure. Dave, let me know in the comments what ball you're playing. But I like that you're playing a tailor-made ball. Very cool. Uh, there you go. The Ping Max G425 and uh, the 5 wood set at 17 and a half degrees. Let's look, let's look closely. I'm trying to see if I could see where he's got that set up, if it's standard or not. Look, that's a 9 degree driver, by the way. It looks like he's got it plus one. Both these clubs plus one. I'm having a little difficulty seeing that, Dave, but it's a good looking bag. I like the brand loyalty there to Ping. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, I am not a brand loyal guy at all. And it's always funny when I get accused on the show of 
of uh, sometimes being partial to one brand or another because my bag is a complete hodgepodge at all times. Uh, but uh, I do appreciate when people are brand loyal. That That is pretty cool. All right, Dave, thank you very much, sir. All right, next one we're going to take a look at here is another golf vlogger that I know personally. His name is Miles Martin. I've actually played with Miles uh, a couple of times. We played in Ocala once here in Florida, and we also played out in Alabama at the Creators Cup uh, with Dougie Bernard, Terminator Golf, Double Dogleg Golf, my buddy Wade, and a, and a, and a number of other YouTubers. Of course, ah, Mark Chili Dipper, Greg Cortman. I don't want to leave anyone out. But we had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. All right, so here's Miles. Now, Miles has been making a lot of changes, and Miles just put some new irons in the bag, and there we go. That's them right there, the JPX Hot Metals. Are they the pros? Uh, looks like the normal Hot Metals. He's got four through gap wedge with the Modus 110-gram stiff flex. He's actually got it cut short a quarter of an inch. All right, so that's good to know. He's got three tailor-made ATV grind wedges. He's carrying the 52, 56, and 60. He's got blue Mizuno T20s on order that should arrive. So I guess Miles has gone full-on Mizuno fanboy here. <laughs> I can't blame him. Mizuno makes a really good club, and those T20s are awesome. I reviewed those on the show here, and I absolutely love those as well. Uh, he's got Golf Pride MCC plus four on everything. A Bettinardi putter, very cool, very cool putter in a Bettinardi. Uh, you don't see those a whole heck of a lot, honestly. You see a lot more Scotty Camerons and things. I, I appreciate a Bettinardi. Um, it's a number twenty-eight with an arm lock. All right, cool. I don't, Miles. Let me know if you were using that putter. I don't remember seeing that putter when we played, but that's pretty cool. Uh, he's got the TP5 Blue Tees Rangefinder Western Birch Golf Tees. All right, so he's, he's letting us know everything that's in that bag. That Bettinardi is good-looking putter. Uh, looks like it's kind of somewhere between a, a blade and a mallet or something. I'd like to get a better look at it, but it's a good-looking putter. Love the JPX 921 Hot Metals. Beautiful choice right there. Uh, let's see, in terms of driver, uh, he's got a Taylor May Callaway Epic Speed Max. 45 gram, that's very light. 45 gram regular flex shaft. It's 44 inches. Uh, so it's a little less actually than um, kind of standard. So he's got everything cut down and he's got a tailor-made HL3 wood. Uh, looks like a burner almost. High launch, high launch three wood. Uh, and look at that. Let me look at that three wood a little more closely. 16 and a half degree three wood. Very good setup, Miles. Very, very good setup. Uh, looking good, man. Looking good. Uh, I won't be one. Let, let me know. I guess the next club for you probably is to change is that three wood, it looks like. Uh, but everything else looking pretty good there. Uh, let me know. But sometimes, again, you got an old three wood, you, you like them. So we've got two two folks here so far that have... A little bit older three woods. All right, Danny Truong. This is a very good looking bag, Danny. An extremely good looking bag. Here we go. We've got JPX Hot Metals 921s. 921s. Those aren't the pro models either. Those are really nice. God, I love those irons. So we've seen two of those now between Miles and, and Danny here. Danny Taylor made fanboying out here with the woods. Are you playing? How many clubs are in this bag? <laughs> I'm gonna have to count them here. He's got the Sim 2 Max driver. It looks, I think that's tight. Is that the titanium three and five wood? And then we've got Sim 2 Max four and five hybrids. Uh, what else do I see here? It looks like he's starting six, seven, eight, nine. Sandwich and no, the sandwich is something different. I can't tell what that sandwich is right there. Well, maybe it is. Is that a Mizuno sandwich from that set? That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, and uh, light on the wedges, heavy on the woods, Danny. And then he's got an even roll putter there. Very cool. I, let me count the clubs. I, I guess we've got 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is it 13? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Danny, thirteen clubs. Am I wrong there? Am I missing a wedge? Is something hiding? Very cool setup. We've got tailor made woods and Mizuno irons. Very, very simple. I don't see any other wedges in there. Ah, uh, something hiding back there. 
I can't tell what's behind the sand wedge there. There must be some sort of higher lofted wedge, I guess. Uh, Danny, let us know in the comments what that is. Very cool bag, my man. I'm digging that one. Uh, let's see here. We're going to go over to Dan Foy. Dan sent some really nice pictures, in, including this beautiful sunset shot uh, of his bag. But I'm going to go to a close-up here so we can take a look at this. This is an older looking set of clubs, but really solid clubs indeed. All right. So yeah, he says, Gabe, I'm working with older clubs, but I love them. And until I can afford to be fit for new ones, uh, he's sticking with these. All right. So he's got a Callaway BB Alpha 815 at nine and a half degrees. He's got the Callaway XR 3 wood, Callaway BB, which is Big Bertha, if you don't know what BB is. Three hybrid, that's at 17 degrees, and he's got it cranked up two degrees. It's normally set at 19 degrees, that club. He's got Callaway X Forged, uh, 21 degree. What is that? That's a, that's an interesting club. It's a utility iron. So he's got a driving iron in there. That's a club. That's a very interesting club. One I've been thinking about adding to my bag. So right now in my bag, I'm actually carrying 13 as we speak because I took out the hybrid. I used to love my Wilson C300 hybrid. Oldest club in my bag right now. It just, I'm just all of a sudden not swinging it well. I don't know what happened. It used to be a money club for me. And on top of that, the four iron that I'm playing right now is a very long club as long as that three hybrid. So I need something longer. I've got a gap right now between like 210 and like 235 that I've got to fill. And I'm thinking about maybe something like that, a driving iron, possibly a little hybrid, Maybe even a five wood. So um, uh, Danny's got a, a utility iron there like that. That's very cool. Uh, his his irons are Callaway X2 Hot Pro 5 through pitching wedge. And then he's got the Callaway Mac Daddy wedges. So serious brand loyalty there, Dan, uh, with Callaway. Uh, the putter's an Odyssey Stroke Lab. Great putter that right there. Um, just an absolute classic. And uh, Danny... You know, they're older clubs, but they are very nice clubs. Congratulations on those clubs, man. Uh, you should be very, very proud. All right, we're going to go to Garrett Guerrero. Let's see. Garrett Guerrero, I he didn't send exactly what these clubs are, so we're going to have to guess. Uh, but it's always kind of fun, too. So Garrett's got a Titleist TS3 driver. He looks like a Mizuno STZ, I think. Looks like an STZ 3-wood. It's hard to see for sure in that picture. Looks like a... Is that a Wilson Staff driving iron? Is that what that thing is? Let me know. Let me know about that one. Uh, and then we've got just absolute beautiful clubs uh, in terms of irons. And is that the JPX? Those are pros for sure. I don't think those are 921s. I think those are... Uh, what was the, what was the model right before? 917? No, 850, right? Are those 850s? It's really hard to see. That picture is just not super clear. But those are, I, I'm pretty sure those are JPX 8, 9, no, mm, 900s. Those are 900 pros. I'm almost positive. Let me know. I think. <laughs> uh, we've got the RTX. That's a Cleveland wedge back there. Uh, it's hard to see what that's at. Is that, is that 50 or 60? It looks like a zero anyways. Um, looks like four through pitching wedge in that set of clubs. All right. So, hey, I love those irons, uh, Garrett. Very well done there on the irons. Uh, I like that you've got some different things going on in that bag. Can't tell what the putter is there either. Um, all right. We're going to go here to... Who's up next? Who's up next? Kyle McGrew. We'll go with Kyle McGrew. All right, Kyle. Kyle, Taylor made. Taylor made fanboy here. Uh, Sim 2 uh, driver, definitely. He didn't list these clubs, by the way. Uh, Taylor made driver. I'm guessing three and five would. I'm guessing. I have no idea what's behind those clubs. If you guys ever send me what's in your bag, if you want to send it, by the way, let's play through at gmail.com. I'll try to get it reviewed here on the channel. But uh, let me know what, what's in that bag exactly because sometimes some of the pictures, it's just a little hard to see here. Those are the Sim 2 Max irons. Uh, are those the oversized? It's hard to see in the photo there if those are the oversized. 
I have no idea what those wedges are. I don't know what the wedges are. It's hard for me to read those. And we've got the Spider Putter, an absolute classic in the Spider Putter. Uh, so many tour players uh, still playing that putter. But I remember like Jason Day came out with it and a few others one year and like everyone was playing the Spider. Uh, so there you go. Um, that 7 iron is not a sim seven iron so i don't know what that is there's something sneaky in that bag as well so let let us know kyle leave us a comment down um down below and let us know what what that seven iron is as well as what those wedges are i think those are wedges uh but uh, uh taylor made another taylor made fanboy so we're looking like mizuno taylor made is coming in pretty strong here okay let's go to jeremy humston i hope i'm pronouncing that right um jeremy has got Walter Hagen irons. I love it. So this is actually a set, a base set that his dad picked up for him seven years ago. Uh, he finally broke 100. Congrats on that, Jeremy. That's awesome. He shot 90, actually. So he almost broke 90 and 100 on the same day. That's pretty awesome. And he got his birdie. Beautiful, Jeremy. Very, very cool, man. I uh, love the story with these being a, a set from your dad. Walter Hagen, we've got a Cobra, five wood, a ping driver. What ping driver is that one? That's a G series. That is like a G. That's an older one for sure. Don't know. And then we've got a few woods that I have no clue what's under there. Again, guys, let me know. Then we've got, ah, I love that wedge. Ooh, those are the older Vokies. Is that like an SM4 maybe? Something like that. We got 56 degree. Um, that's just a beautiful wedge. An absolute classic. I love picking those ones up. Like play it against sports or some of these used places. Um, that's always a good buy. You get something like that for 50, 60 bucks. That's money. Uh, and then you've got the soft high lob for 40 yards or less. Is that a legal club? Is that legal, uh, Jeremy? Let us know. It looks like it's easy to hit, though. Oh, the Callaway two-ball putter is hiding back there. Another classic. Absolute classic. By the way, the Walter Hagens, uh, those are SB9s. I haven't hit those clubs, uh, but uh, they look very cool. I, I love the story there, man. Very, very cool. Thank you for sending me your bag, Jeremy. Uh, really, really Big congrats on the on the on the round of your life there. That's awesome. Keep going low. You almost broke eighty, or you almost broke ninety as well. So very cool, man. All right, John Carroll. John's rocking a Callaway Big Bertha B twenty one iron set. He's got the ten and a half driver of the Big Bertha as well. Uh, he's got a four hybrid finisher with personalized jaws sixty wedges. Wow, they are personalized. FJC, AJC, very cool. I've never had my wedges personalized. Who did it for you? That's super cool. Uh, they match the B21 colors. That's very cool. I like it. So you're, you're digging the consistency, John. Predator 7 wood, that's maybe 17 years old, and a Scotty Cameron putter, all housed nice and neatly in a Moto Caddy Protecta bag. Protecta bag. I have not seen the Moto Caddy Protecta bag. That's very cool. <laughs> he says what i do know is what's in my bag cost me an arm and a leg for sure that's very cool man there's john carroll's bag that's awesome god that's a beautiful wedge i love the color combos the red white and blue that works is that the x5 i have that exact putter that was my putter actually uh for a couple of years i bought it for myself as a birthday present four years ago i want to say the future x5 beautiful Beautiful. I just got kind of got away from the mallet style putter. Uh, Future is not really a mallet. Eh, is it a mallet? I don't know. It's its own kind of beast, right? Uh, but a great putter there. Love that one. Love the bag. Very well done, John. Very, very well done. Thank you, man, for sending that in. We're going with Benjamin McCowan. McKeown. Mc... I'm butchering that. Benjamin, I apologize. <laughs> Benjamin's got the D9 irons. Love the D9 irons. You saw me play with those. I shot plus two, was it, I think, on nine holes with them. He's got the D9 driver as well. What makes the D9 irons so good is they're just very forgiving. Very forgiving. Um, he's got launch pad woods that came in yesterday. Congrats on the new clubs, Jeremy. 
and he's looking forward to getting all that on the course soon. And got to have my Callaway PM Grind Lob Wedge in the back. Very cool, man. Very, very cool. He says he watched the D9 review. I appreciate that. So there's the, yeah, there's the old uh, Wilson putter there. Fat shaft. Beautiful. Callaway 58 degree. Mac Daddy. Great bag, man. Very good bag. You can't go wrong with Wilson. The value is there. Thank you, Benjamin. I apologize that I probably blew up your last name. <laughs> but thanks for sending that in. Uh, very cool to see. That's awesome. All right, we got a few more we're going to take a look at. I, I got like 50 or 60 entries uh, over this last week. So we've got a lot of these. And I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through all of them. But next up here is Colin Piercy. Piercy. Gosh, I hope that's right. Well, first of all, I appreciate the uh, the way you set your clubs up here. Uh, looks like we've got a Cobra fanboy in the house. Cobra fanboy in the house. Rad Speed XB driver, nine and a half degrees. Rad Speed three wood, three hybrid, and four hybrid. All right, so a four wood setup there. I love the way it's kind of like a nautilus shell. I love that picture. Very nice what's in the bag here. Uh, he's got the Rad Speed irons, a great set of irons. I'm hoping I get these out on course. Uh, we did some testing earlier in the year with the simulator. I haven't got these out on course yet, but I'm looking forward to getting a set. Um, five through gap wedge is what Colin is rocking. And then he's got Vokey SM8s. I play the same wedges, man. You can't go wrong with those. They're in the slate blue color. I wonder how that, how that, how is that blue held up over time? I'd be interested to know. He's got a 50 that's bent to 52. Uh, I assume that's to uh, fill the gap there with his gap wedge probably set at what was a rad speed? 48 degrees of the gap wedge, something like that. Uh, so he's got the 50 bent to 52 and then he's got a 56 and a 60. Curious, why didn't you just get a 52 uh, Colin, I'm totally cool with you bending. I'm just wondering. Um, he's got a Titleist Cart 15 bag. And yes, he does have 15 clubs in the bag. Most people give me grief online, but he doesn't play in tournaments. Hey, man, your secret is safe with us. Actually, it's not safe. It's, it's on YouTube right now, but uh, <laughs> we're going to give you a pass there. What's the putter? Let me see if I can get a shot of the putter here. Okay. That's uh, definitely a Cobra putter. It's looking like maybe one of those 3D pr printed putters I just took a look at. At least it's a mallet style from what I can tell from... from... Oh, it is. Yes, it's the Cobra Ajera. Yeah, all right. I, I played that putter. Very consistent uh, putter. I love the sick face. I've got a new Cobra putter, by the way, that I'm testing here on the show. I've actually been playing with it. It's... it's I've taken my Sax Parente out of the bag and I've been playing with this Cobra putter. That video is coming very soon and I'm loving it. It's a bl it's um, an answer style putter. Got the sick face. The sick face is sick. It is. It's good, man. Like you just get that nice overspin roll wherever you hit the ball. And uh, I'm a believer in the sick face. I'm really liking this putter. Uh, the Ajera, I didn't get along with all that well, but that's just me and Mallet. Putters, love it. Love the setup. Cobra, first Cobra fanboy of the day. Loving that setup, Colin. Thank you, man, for sending that in. That's very cool. I'm going to get that picture down. And by the way, good photography skills, and you really took some time to get that set up. I appreciate that. Thank you, man. All right, Chris. This is Chris. He's a beginner. All right, we got D9 irons again. Love it. That's an Odyssey. Looks like a white hot putter. Uh, what else is in that bag? Something else must be in that bag. Let's see. I decided to oh no! I decided to only play with irons until my strike became more consistent. Smart move. Who, he's asking me, is it a smart move? Who knows? But the Wilson D9s have been great clubs. Gotta say, you know, as a beginner, I, I gotta give you some props, Chris. I mean, I've never thought of, the, of that even being a being a a, a potential move, but. I got to say, I like that, man. Uh, if you want to hit your irons well and you want to get consistent, just take the driver and the three wood and everything else out. You won't get into trouble, right? Yeah, man, I like that. The only problem I see here is you've only got, I know with the Wilson D9, it only goes up to four iron, right? So I guess you're teeing off with a four iron. 
Uh, opposite problem of our of our last bag with Colin, where he had 15 clubs. You're only playing with what? Four through pitching wedge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven clubs in the bag. Eight. <laughs> I love it, man. Very cool, dude. Thank you for stepping up and sending that. That is awesome to see. Um, good looking bag there, by the way, too. I, I kind of like those hot pink. I kind of like the hot pink. I don't know why. It's cool. All right. We're going to go to Tome. I hope it's Tome or Tome Ferreira. Got to get some wedges to fill in the gaps in his bag uh, and a range finder, and then he'll be good with clubs for a while. I like that. Got to be content with what you got. I mean, I know this is a club review show. Uh, but you always do need to be content with what, what you have. And what Tome has, Callaway Maverick Irons. I'm having a little difficulty here uh, taking a look at this. I'm guessing that's probably a three hybrid underneath that Maverick head cover, and then he's got a tailor made as well. I'd love to know what's there, and I have no clue. Um, I'm assuming it's a Callaway driver, maybe TaylorMade. We, we don't know. But is that a Kobe Bryant head cover? Very cool head cover there. And we've got the Spider Putter, a second Spider of the day. Cannot go wrong with the Spider Putter. Tome or Tome. Tell me how you pronounce it in the comments. Enjoyed the bag, man. Thank you. I'd love to know what's inside. So let us know what's under those head covers. That's always good to know. We'll do a couple more. All right, we're going to go with Wit Whittle. Wit Whittle. I love the name, first of all. Best name that we've come across today. Is Wit short for something? Let me know, Wit. I love I love the name, though. It's just got, it's like alliterates. It's, it rolls off your tongue. Wit Whittle. Uh, oh, here we go. We got Wilson D9 driver, 10 and a half degrees. He's got the Titleist 910 three wood at 15 degrees. Titleist 816 five hybrid. The Wilson D9 irons, five through gaps. We took the four out of that set. He's got the even roll ER2 putter. Beautiful. And the Callaway Mac Daddy CB50 and 56 wedges. Interesting, a 50 and a 56. That's an interesting setup there. Uh, he's just picking the game back up after a 10-year hiatus. It's good to have you back, Wit. Uh, and uh, the D9 irons he bought because of the video. Well, I hope you're enjoying it, man. Uh, I hope you are enjoying the set. It's a good-looking setup you've got there. I mean, Titleist, Titleist Woods you cannot go wrong with. Very, very cool. I'm going to see if we can find someone who watches this show all the time. He's one of the first people to comment, and I know he sent me what's in his bag. I'm going to go back to the inbox here. Like I said, if I didn't get to your bag and you sent me your photo, I promise you I will eventually get to it, but I definitely want to get to Mike's because Mike Mike watches this show all the time. First of all, Mike has the MGI Zip Navigator, which is completely awesome. Dare I say badass. Um... Mike actually was the impetus for me checking out the MGI Zip Navigator because he kept talking about it in the comments and saying how much he loved it. And uh, I finally got a chance to review it and I loved it too. I unfortunately couldn't keep it just because they gave it to me as a loner uh, and I had to give it back. But um, phew, it makes golf fun if walking, especially in Florida in the heat. All right, let's take a look at Mike's back here. So Mike's got the Sim 2. Go, Mike. I play the same driver. That's Sim 2. We've seen a lot of Sim 2s here today. He's got the Titleist TI 3 wood. He's got the Sim 2 uh, irons. I, again, I'm playing the Sim 2s right now. I really like them. I've had three rounds with them so far. I had one amazing round. I had a mediocre round, and I had a pretty poor round, but it was at a very difficult course in Kiowa Island, the ocean course. I shot uh, That day, I shot 78 at Osprey Point and 89 at the ocean course. That tells you how hard the ocean course was, but I just wasn't swinging it very well. So uh, we will be having a Sim 2 uh, Max iron test on course here in the next week or so on the channel, so stay tuned for that. But Mike is currently rocking those. He's got an Odyssey putter. And uh, I did ask him about his wedges because I couldn't see it. So what did he tell me? He's got um, he's got a 60 degree. Uh, he's got a 56 and a 52. And what are they? Voki. Voki SM8s. Beautiful. All right. Uh, love that, Mike. That's uh, very similar to my setup right, that I have in my bag right now. Uh, I've got, except I've got a ping G425 three wood. So if we swap the TSI for the G425 um, and then the wedges uh, are the same, except yours are slightly different degrees. And he's got an Odyssey putter back there. Beautiful Odyssey putter. Mike is from Wisconsin. 
some great golf to be had in Wisconsin. Mike, thanks for sending me the picture, man. Enjoy the MGI Zip Navigator. Coolest, uh, coolest little piece of tech uh, so far that we've seen today. And uh, that's really awesome. We're going to do one more here before we end today's show, all right? We're going to do one more. I'm going to pick... Someone that I've seen a lot on this show. John Cooper. John Cooper. John uh, joins us from Thailand every week on the show. So uh, he gets credit for for, uh, getting up super late at night to watch when we drop those 10 a.m. releases. John's got in the bag. What does John have? It's tough. The cameras in Thailand are a little bit low resolution, but thankfully he actually sent us what he's got. So he's got a Katana Voltio 3 10 degree driver. I've never played or I don't think even seen a Katana. I need to check that out, John. He's also got the 5 wood Katana at 18 degrees and he's got a rescue club in the Nick Kent 3DX4 hybrid. Another club I don't know. I just don't know those. He's got Mizuno Easy uh, irons from 5 to Pitching Wedge. Gotta love a Mizuno. Nothing feels like a Mizuno. 52, 56, and 60 degree wedges. They're called Spin by Dons. This is a very interesting bag, John. And a putter is his tailor-made Rosa, Rosa Monza. Rosa! I love saying that putter. Beautiful putter in the Rosa. John, you get the award for most interesting bag. Half of those clubs I've never even heard of. I've got to try them, man. That's cool. I've got to see if I can get my hands on some katanas. I love the name. and it looks interesting. It's an, look, it's got, look, it's got like a car, like it's carved out, like kind of uh, near the uh, heel of the club. It's carved out. That's really interesting. Again, I appreciate the symmetry of the way you set the photo up. John, very cool, man. It's, I got to try out the katanas that I got to try the katanas. That's so cool, man. Guys, that's going to do it for the bags. Very interesting. I think we've seen that TaylorMade seems to be the most, uh, TaylorMade Mizuno seem to be the most used clubs here. A lot of people playing the Vokey wedges. We've had some random clubs, which are, I've got to do a little research on these things. It's always interesting to see what's in everyone's bag. And I appreciate everyone that sent the photos. Again, if I didn't get to your bag today, we'll be doing this again. If you enjoyed it, let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed doing this. Uh, but I had a lot of fun just discovering what you guys are, are, are using. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, I assume by now you're probably subscribed. But if you haven't, I mean, you got to go ahead and hit subscribe. Send me the photo. Send me a photo of what's in your bag. You'll get it featured on the show here. Uh, and uh, let's play through at gmail.com is the email to do that. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did. I'll see you next week on another edition of Let's Play Through. Cheers.